course, my name is Koshes from High School South Africa. Can you please introduce yourself today? I'm Felton Nefa, the head girl of Takadi Senior High School, and here. I'm Sylvia Kofi, the head boy of Takadi Senior High School. Amazing. So guys, I'm here today and I want to find out from there. You know, um, you guys have been struck with, um, should I use the word tragedy or or um, calamity or, or um, I want a better word. Please give me a word. Misfortune, yes. <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Please give yourself a word. But basically, there is a strike in all the high schools in the country. And I want to find out from you too, because you are the head prefect of the school. And of course, you also double as the SRC president, right? Definitely. So you are in charge of the school. I'd like to know if you have any plans um, towards you accommodating the situation. How are you going to accommodate the situation? just so that the students over here will not um, be left behind because they have to learn, especially during you the ones in country. Your exams is fast approaching and you have to keep learning in order. I want to know, how, how are you going to accommodate, accommodate the situation? Well, we've tasked the various classrooms to appoint people who... Would... You have taxed them. Yes, please. You too, or you. Whatever. And all prefects. You have taxed your class prefect yes. to do what? Because they are part of the SRC. You've taxed them to appoint students who have learnt ahead, who have taken more knowledge during the vacation break, within the space of three months. So some, some went for vacation for three months? Yes, please. Which group? The front. Two. I can't hear you. Okay, now we don't have tracks. So let's say the form twos. The form twos? Yes, please. They went for three month vacation yes. and they, they learned in advance of what was supposed to be taught here. Okay. Most of the classes always follow the syllabus in the school. So whenever they go for that three month class, they make sure they follow that syllabus that we are having in the school. But actually, not everybody is able to afford. So the few who could afford have learned ahead. So we've taught the class preference to make sure that when there is no teacher in class, they make those students stand in front of them and empower them or delegate their power to them to teach the subjects they have learned ahead. So, so in all the classes, there is going to be a class prefer over there or somebody that has that knowledge. And they will be in class and be teaching. So basically, students are the ones going to teach their fellow students. Yes. Amazing. It has already started. It has started. It has started. Not even when the um, how do you call it? The strike. The striking. But rather, we started it long ago. It's something that is there. Amazing, guys. Basically, this is what is happening here at Takradi Secondary School. Now there is strike, but but it looks like they have no fear. Do you know when they are the teachers are resuming? Not really. When the strike is ending, we have no idea. It's not further notice. So further notice. It's kind of indefinite. But we, st we are not afraid. You are not afraid. We are not afraid. Whether they go for indefinite or whatever, we believe in our students that whatever we've tasked them to do, we are going to obey it. And there will be teachers around. You see our headmaster is always going around and yeah. the academics will be going around. Not only we the prefects, but rather the teachers also will be going around. And we've tasked them that Whenever they see anyone joking or fooling in the classroom, they should jot down the person's name so that we can do that job for them. They shouldn't worry. Amazing. That's the class prefect. That's the class prefect. Amazing. So guys, this is actually the time that prefectship, the role of prefectship and the power of prefectship is uh, actually being manifested in the school because um, the teachers are not going to class to go and teach, but these guys have stood on their feet and they've made um, rules, bylaws that um, most of their colleagues have to be in class and teach the rest of the students. So you dare not misbehave. If they catch you, I, 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 I just don't want to think of anything. But it's going to be really bad for you. So um, even though the teachers are not coming, it looks like for here in Tadisco, these guys have everything under control. And it's so amazing. Guys, thank you for your great leadership skills.